Hi, everyone. I'm Eric Boeing. Welcome to Cash In. Our Cash In crew this week, Wayne Rogers, Jonathan Honig, Michelle Fields, and Juan Williams. Welcome, everybody. And welcome back to the 70s. Cops assassinated. As America's finest are under attack again, let's remember what life was like the last time this happened. Crime was substantially higher, the economy substantially weaker. Parts of many cities, like New York's Times Square, were off limits. Wayne, looks a lot more like we're going into 1975 and not 2015. Yes, it does, Eric, and it's unfortunate. I mean, we've got the same kind of thing going on, not only with the cops, but with the people who are inciting the riots and that sort of thing. I mean, the fact that you've got Al Sharpton, who is an outrageous uh, person of, uh, you know, who, who basks in this kind of stuff. He feasts on this kind of stuff just for his own personal aggrandizement. It's terrible. It's outrageous. Second thing that's going on is that the media coverage of this has been awful, I think. The media has helps to hype this because they show over and over again the things like that. By the way, in the same week that Ferguson was going on, there were over 80 people killed in the city of Chicago. I didn't see Al Sharpton and I didn't see Reverend Jackson there. They were, and that's, that was even a worse tragedy. In addition to that, we've got people who, who, who foment and, and, and try to help this thing and push it along and, and without, in an ideological way, and disregard the free market system, disregard the benefits that come from that, and talk about poverty and this and that and the other. When, for example, we've got a great example right offshore in Cuba, where, where socialism has been there for 50 years. Their standard of living right. is awful. Ours is great. You've got to listen to the United States, All right. people. All right. So, John, let me talk to you a little bit. When, when Mayor de Blasio put, draws a line between the people or the mayor and the cops, that can't be good for safety in the city. It can't be good for businesses in the city, right? Well, respect for the cops, respect for the rule of authority, respect for law, Eric. I mean, this is the basis of which any sound uh, uh, society is based. And all these protests, I've just been scratching my head. What are these protests about? Uh, uh, that, that the police hate African-Americans? Well, what about all the African-American cops? That it's open season on blacks in this country? It's just, it's just simply not true. I mean, this whole chant of black lives matter, life matters. And America, in fact, is more safe than it's now in, been in decades because we're more individualistic than we've been in decades. Treat people as individuals and racism goes away. And, and, and Juan, a lot of these people who are, are uh, you know, look at the other cities, look at Ferguson, look at Los Angeles, look at Oakland. People are rioting, they're protesting. It's violent, it's less safe, businesses can't thrive there. But a lot of these things are on the backs of some real liberal ideologies. Well, there's no question about that, Eric. I think you saw that in the campaign that de Blasio ran in New York where he was clear that he thought that the income divide, the financial divide in that city uh, was fostering an atmosphere of inequity and part of that was the police, that the police were protecting the affluent while they were harassing, intimidating, stop and frisk, profiling minorities, but especially poor minorities. So I think that you're exactly right. I will say that I don't think that the race relations in the country are any better because of what has come from this. I mean, clearly we see in the polls now more of a divide between black and white than we've seen since, guess when, Eric, the 70s. And not only that, Juan, I'm going to bring it to Michelle, but Juan points out things aren't better. President Obama last week said under his watch, mm -hmm. race relations in America are better. Yet he's the president who said, you know what, once someone mistake me for a waiter, he also has an uh, attorney general who said, you know what, I've been followed in a department store. I would go out on a limb and say this administration, Michelle, may be worse for race relations in America than better for race relations in America. It has. I think President Obama has set us back at least 30 years when it comes to race relations in this country. And look, uh, de Blasio, these protesters, what they are protesting are the very same policies and people who helped make New York City safe. New York City is so much safer now because of the policies that we have. And Bill de Blasio, you know, he's, he's working against the policies that really made New York City what it is in terms of the economy and in terms of uh, it being safer. In the 70s, no one wanted to go to New York City. Now you can go there and it's safe. And what Bill de Blasio is doing is he's telling uh, New York City that he's on the side of the protesters, the thugs, the ones who celebrated and cheered when those two police officers' dead bodies were, were on the ground. Juan, do you want to res uh, respond to that? Yeah, that's, that's not right, Michelle. Look, the person who killed those cops was Why not a protester. It, right? it was a mentally insane person who had shot his own girlfriend, was, no, his own no, mom no, was no. afraid of him. But it's let me funny. just tell when you liberals, something. When, it, you, when Gabby Gippers, is, it's Republicans' fault. 
But no, when it comes I didn't to say, this, it's I, not Democrats' Michelle, fault. Of course it Michelle, is. Michelle, I would never have he said that about the shooter in Instagram. Tucson. And Michelle, this is not a tit for tat, left versus right issue. It's too serious. I will say this to you. I think that if you don't understand why there's so many people in the streets, people who feel that they've been the targets of intimidation right. and harassment, you would because, not, well, not let, understand. Let me just it's about class. It's about income. Okay, this show fair enough. Fair enough. I, if you, guys, he, I need wait, to get he poor he in America, that it's about a minority, you should not be treated differently by the police. Fair enough. Why, uh, Wayne, last Juan, thought right here. the person who killed these cops did not, did, well, did, did uh, not uh, put uh, those things on Instagram. Me. Go ahead, Wayne. Excuse, excuse me. As, uh, as I said earlier, we have an example of where the free market system is has been destroyed and right off of the coast in Cuba and we've seen 50 years of that and it doesn't the fair the free market supports freedom freedom is one of the things that is good it cuts across all races and everything else and we should support freedom and if the cops are supporting pre freedom we should support the cops you got it right there